I had seen some telltales from him when he went to school as Arias when he was in nursery school first he could not even learn the alphabets he could not remember the rhymes the the stories or the songs they did in school any book he would touch is just like flip through if there are no pictures that's out and by and by he started hating school that is the agony of a mother whose child has dyslexia what is dyslexia what causes it what are the signs to look out for and what kind of therapy is available for children with this condition this is what we shall be talking about in a two part series about dyslexia to understand more about dyslexia we shall talk to a dyslexia therapist as well as a parent of a child who has dyslexia for transworld radio i am robert ching Dyslexia is a learning difficulty that affects one's ability to read and write. A child with dyslexia finds it difficult to differentiate letters like B, P and D, W and M, U and N, and F and T, since the brain cannot recognize the direction these letters should face. As a result, children with the condition read the word incorrectly or reverse the letters. Joseph Bango is an occupational therapist and often works with children with learning disabilities. He explains more. The major challenge here is inability or difficulty in reading skills. But again it can extend beyond that and affect other aspects of learning which include spelling, pronunciation, writing, mathematics and of course writing skills. Felix Karioki is mother of Felix. She first realized her son Felix was different when he joined preschool. Having that I had a, an area child who was very vibrant, very active. I thought having that he has a role model of some kind in the house, he would pick up, but he was totally different. Um when he went to preunit that's when they started learning to read words. He had problem reading words. He actually could not read at all. while the other boy could read in preunit the very basic words the three letter words the two letter words but him he could not i thought it was just like i'm too anxious i'm expecting too much but i was now becoming hard on him several reports by felix teachers that he was performing poorly in reading and spelling worried felix and it began to take toll on her son's self esteem I pushed to him everybody at home was like why are you not able to read why can't you be like so and so uh he hated anything to do with reading so what about activities outside of the classroom he was very good anything that does not touch books if you told him to do cleaning tidy do anything he's good but just mention like if not done your homework he would just like get tensed One day, Phyllis stumbled on an article about dyslexia in one of the local dailies, and that was her turning point. I learned he had a problem. When he went on to class 1 now, I think the problem was like became bigger. The more the reading, the bigger the problem. At class 2, that's when I learned the word dyslexia from a newspaper magazine that had written the word children who write doy for boy i would say it was early 2008 so a lot of people didn't have internet by luck i had internet in my office so i went googled this word dyslexia and winning so there was so much information i was like have i been in this country have i been having this thing on my desk and i didn't know this problem so i went and shared with the teachers then told the teacher and you know what um i actually have known what my problem what the problem with my son is he has dyslexia and is like what is that um i explained it to him i gave him the printout hoping they will read another month goes i'm called again i was called to discuss the performance i wanted to find out whether the teachers had actually looked at the papers that i gave them 
and to my surprise the teacher had not looked at it um one actually told me you know what mama felix we are so busy we are marking we are doing this we are doing this i actually have not had time to read that paper and from that day on i decided to do it myself i indulged myself into it i actually took it up on myself in less than one year we had seen a lot of improvement actually what i did i went back to the internet and googled any website that popped i contacted and i was my son i'm a kenyan my son is 8 years he has dyslexia and there's no help in kenya i got information how to do the assessment myself which i now like i would say done the diagnosis and i was satisfied and very confident that he had dyslexia took it upon myself to teach him i learned how to, to read with him patiently uh, we learned how to spell and in less than two months the teachers were like mama felix what are you doing there's an improvement total improvement he had gained confidence his reading had improved his spelling had improved researchers think genes and brain function might play a big role in dyslexia felix has a twin sister whose son is also dyslexic This could easily point to genetics but Joseph also includes other possible causes of dyslexia. There are three causes that are believed to be leading to dyslexia. One, it is a a genetic problem. Scientific studies have discovered that children with dyslexia have got certain genetic disorders that affect the 6th chromosome. Uh is that it is a a genetic problem. Scientific studies have discovered that children with dyslexia have got certain genetic disorders that affect the 6th chromosome. Another possible cause is biological or neurological. Children with dyslexia, the left side of their brain has got some abnormalities in the cell arrangement, and that is actually the side of the brain that controls reading. But again, the environmental factor is a third force that come into play. So normally there is an interplay between genetic and environmental factors that can contribute to the child having difficulties with reading skills. When we read, the brain translates the symbols we see on the page into sounds. Then it combines those sounds into meaningful words. Typically, the areas of our brain responsible for language skills work in a predictable way. So if a child has dyslexia, those areas don't work together in the same way. kids with reading issues end up using different areas of the brain to compensate joseph says that dyslexia can easily be identified in children who have just begun school at around age 4 because that is when they start simple reading and writing he explains more on diagnosis and why early assessment is key in managing dyslexia conducting a reading test is one of the key areas of understanding if it is dyslexia or not and there are some screening methods that can be used to sieve out the possibility of any other condition affecting the reading skills so as long as a child has gone to school or not going to school but can be able to access a reading specialist or a specialist teacher or occupational therapist it is possible to ascertain if the child is struggling with the identification of sounds retrieval of words uh if there is also some aspect of delayed speech or difficulty with the left right orientation difficulty with retrieving some words that have been learnt before a child may be able to master a sound but then forgets it like very easily so if you have got all these symptoms put together then it is actually an indicator that reading is compromised so we trend to believe that it is dyslexia dyslexia risk factors include a family history of dyslexia or other learning disabilities premature birth or low birth weight exposure during pregnancy to nicotine drugs alcohol or infection that may alter brain development in the fetus and individual differences in the parts of the brain that enable reading today we have learned about dyslexia a learning disability that affects reading and writing and is easily identified in early learners when they have just begun school 
we have heard from Joseph Bango, a learning specialist as well as Phyllis, a parent of a child with dyslexia. The possible causes of dyslexia are a family history of dyslexia or other learning difficulties and environmental factors such as trauma during birth or use of drugs by expectant mothers that affect normal brain development of the child. In the second part of our program, we shall talk about the complications that children with dyslexia face and the treatment available.